Listen up. It's the number one voice of the Tri-State. Uh, I'm number one. It, 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 it's, it's cooking, cooking up, up 215. So let the show begin. Here we go. You already know who it is. It's your man Smooth. And it's your man Shaw. And this is Cooking Up 215. And it's that time of the month where we like to highlight the top brand in the city. Sure. The people that's working the hardest, putting out the most fire, mm-hmm. and doing what they're supposed to be doing in a positive way. And today's Cooking Up brand in the month is 13 Spade. Yes, sir. Shout out to 13 Spade in the that's building. We appreciate, we appreciate you being coming. here. We, we got my brother G's, my brother Spade. Amazing. Welcome to the kitchen, baby. Nice Thank you for having us, man. You know, of course, man, it's an honor to have y'all. Y'all working, you're doing what you're supposed to do, and we love to shine a light on the brands that's doing what they're supposed to do out here. It's a, you know, it's a bad time in the city. This is like 500 murders. The city needs help. We out here doing anything, but y'all out here creating clothes, creating a positive message. So tell us a little bit about the brand. Tell us what 13 Spades stand for. Um, We just trying to do our part out here, but mainly with us doing that, it's us coming together. Mm. I don't know if you ever played a game of Spades, but... You know, of course, we, of course, we all play spades. You know what I'm saying? It's my partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When, they, when they in your hands, you are unstoppable. Y'all right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Much, much so shop, cut a book. Like it's over. Cut the book. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's over with. It's over with. <laughs> Once it's over there, it's over there. So you know, we just play the hands we dealt, and we come from the city of Philadelphia, like mm. you said. That you know, it's a lot it's going on. It gets real. real. Right. It gets real for sure. So that's where the thirteen and thirteen spades come from, because it's thirteen spades in the deck. It's right. a collective of all the spades coming together. Right. I need you. You gonna possibly need me. I need him. Right. We gotta come together. We gonna build. But Ooh. together we all win. Oh exactly. man. I like that. I like exactly. that. I see the pressure on the head. Is that part of the spade brand? Oh, yeah, man. That's what these diamonds and all that is okay. about. Okay. Yeah. So you know is the pressure different? Does the pressure is different? It's, it's, it's a collection. It's a collection. You do different collections within the brand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, somebody like me, look, I like to get, I like to dress up. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. And I see y'all got the nice mm-hmm. gear on, yeah. but what separates y'all from the other clothing lines in the city of Philadelphia? What make y'all different? quality for sure? Right. But we take pride in our in our in our look. You know what I mean? In our yeah. in, in, in the way we carry yeah, yeah. the way we carry ourselves. So like I said, um, we like to wear our attire. So okay, you wear our attire, you're gonna stand out. We got yeah. some work skis on our, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shining over right, there. Right, right. When, 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 when we need no that, diamonds. You know more than that, we a stamp. Right. You know what I'm saying? More than that, when you see that 13 spade or you see that sign on your back or you got that spade that on, means something. you identify from for sure. Right. It's bigger It's bigger than the COVID brand. Okay. Because yeah. we treat our customers like family, which mm. are our. We members. Right, right, yeah. right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We members. This shit like a fraternity. <laughs> like a fraternity. <laughs> I hear that. I seen like y'all had the member, the members only work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's just about making everybody feel like they part of the whole, mm. we a gang. That's we what it is, though. Not a gang. I wouldn't yeah, we're not consider a ourselves He's a gang. Not a gang. I ain't but I feel like we family. Like we all, when we, when we, when we trickle up, we, we create where it is that we try and go with this. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's so many possibilities, so many things, so many artistic people coming out the city. We branch out. We okay. might have to reach out to you and say, yo, bro, we want you to collab with us. We want you to build with us. Right. We want you to do this with us. Have y'all had other people that you try to reach out to to collab with when they come down All to the All the time. We got a collab. We got a collab in the work. We got, um, I don't know. He might be. Yeah, he's upcoming. Um, the brand Humans. Okay. Yeah. yeah shout out um, to Humans. Yeah. Sure. So we got, a, we, got, we got a nice little dope little collection coming out with him. Yeah. I, 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 think, I think Philly need more of that. I mean, you look at somebody like. I'm going to take, for instance, an example, Yeezy with Gat. Mm-hmm. I feel like we need to come more right. and, and, and do a collab where we're dropping. So I, f- I feel like I like a favor for a favor. Right. So if I got my brand, you got your brand, we each just doing each other a favor for a favor. So yeah, I, for I like sure. the, I like it's the all about collab. everybody elevating. Yeah. Everybody uplift each other because my customers might gravitate towards you. You could get something. Exactly. And, 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 and. A favor for a favor. Right. Do you, do you like ever that. come across hate due to the fact that Clothing lines can be somewhat of a saturated market in Philly. Do you come across other people with brands that feel like y'all stepping on their toes or is nah, to animosity there? To be honest, um, it's always going to be hate, but we tune that out because we only good vibes. You ain't ain't worried about nah, that. Yeah, you know? plus when, when we do get dressed, naturally we probably mix shit up anyway. Right. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I probably got a little bit of your shit on too. Right, 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 so right, now right, when you right. see me, you so don't feel no type way. You right. like, oh, you're showing love to everybody. Yeah, it's everybody, yeah. but we're a collective. So when we come together, this ain't just about just my brand or his brand. It's about the world and how we try and move and yeah, how we try to, together. you know, what we want to see ourselves for the culture. Like we try and put the on. The city so. need it. 
You know what I mean? The city definitely. I think needs. because of the lack of that, it's like not only in terms of uh, clothing lines, but rappers. Um, there's a lot of things in the city where people not coming. People together. don't. Yeah, no. I, I think they always <laughs> say that about Philly, where though they always try to compare us to Atlanta. Like, oh, why y'all don't do this like Atlanta? Y'all got all these rappers, but nobody rap with each other. Right. You know what I mean? It's this. It's this lack of unity. So we definitely would say that you know more collabs is something that would be oh, you absolutely know, something positive. To we see. open to collabs too. Yeah, open to the lab. Absolutely. They open to the lab, man. So that's the resume. Hit them up. You know what I'm saying? Instagram, DM. So open to it, right? Um, what separates y'all from others though? Like I said, we take pride in our quality. Um we just we 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 try to think outside the box. Like I said, this mm. is not a new brand. I like that. This is not a new brand. We've been around since 2017. Um Yeah, so we took a little hiatus, but yeah. we was in a lab cooking up. Right. So, so, so when, you, <laughs> when you've been around so long and sometimes it things don't move the way, you know, you want them to move, you mm-hmm. kind of, you, sometimes you can get deterred. Do y'all ever find yourselves at that moment where you just, you know, wipe your hands with the shit, let it go and just quit? Or you just stay at it? Not, not necessarily. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to go through shit. This is mm-hmm. life. So you might go through a situation, you might have to deal with a situation, and then once you overcome it, you get back focused. Right. So I feel like it's more so just getting back focused. So if I feel a way or if I got some shit going on, I got to handle, I'm going to let my partner know, yo, we got, I got shit going on, I got to handle this. Either he going to carry it for that time being, right. or, you know what I'm saying, or vice versa. I carry it for the time being. That's but dope. then when we come back together it's, it's, as a collective, because we get back running. Yeah. Yeah, we keeping the, we keeping the boat alive. We keeping yeah. everything moving. We're never going to be in the best thing. Yeah. yeah. Right. But, you know. how, how, how do y'all like the, like, Okay, because y'all business partners, but I feel like sometimes when you have business partners, um, maybe that person is not putting forth the energy that you're putting forth. Right. How do y'all hold yourself accountable as being business partners? Well, we family first. Okay. Yeah. So at the end of the day, like this really my blood cousin. So that don't make so, it hard. That make that make it the accessibility to curse you the fuck out. Like, yo, bro, like, I need you to do this. I need so you to tighten up. Yeah. yeah. I can keep it. You can keep it a hundred right. with right. your people. Because with other people, you don't really, you, you know, gotta, you might not have that relationship with them. You got a sugar coke sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Can't. But when you with your people, your folks, bro, we try and build this shit together. We got shit going right. on. But so I might all, need you to. Yeah. Ultimately, we got, we, we locked in and we got, you know, we got, got the same goal. ideal vision. Right. Yeah. We got the same goal. We got the and ideal vision. And we wake vision. up with that same passion. So you might wake up in the middle. I might get a text, text from him, him at 3, 4 in the morning. Yeah, like, do. yo, bro, I'm looking at. I'm guilty I'm of that. trying to do this. So, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when you got that type of energy in you, that's what that's what really power this shit to make it happen. Hell yeah, for sure. Because then now when I see it, I'm on go move. Right. Got you. You know what I'm saying? So anything he do... I'm always surprised. I'm always feeling like, oh shit. Right. I gotta tighten up because this nigga going crazy. Yeah, I'm so, you know what I'm saying? So when he going crazy, I gotta make sure I'm going crazy too. Hasn't so, been no beef moments like that. I ain't calling him. Like, I don't, I don't want to. Absolutely not. I'm going crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if I got something to say, I'm going to say it. I'm going to call you and say it. Yeah, bro. Bro. That's, how, that's the relationship that's with all my people, go. all my yeah. guys. Yeah. That, that's how we moving. Like right. we ain't dealing with none of that, none of that bullshit because that's bullshit for real. Yeah, that's bullshit. You feel me? If I can't tap in with you and talk to you about some personal shit, or, you know, let you know how I feel about something we and let's get over it. Be 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 then we'll need to be in the same rims because yeah. I want somebody I mean, to tighten me up. I read a curse move out sometimes. Nigga, you said five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> you got here at six thirty. <laughs> no, no, I'm at shop. I'm at the yeah, 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 yeah. But um, no. So had there been, have y'all reached that that point where you had like any pivotal moments with the brand, like things that let y'all know that y'all was solidified and stamped as a brand out here that you really was making a mark. Just seeing. People wear their attire. Yeah, like we really are probably in pressure globally. Like mm-hmm. we got customers out Miami. Mm. We got customers LA. Customers we have LA, LA. Where I mean, so we tapping in. We really tapping in in like different states and stuff like that. And we got like staples in the industry and in the city that's you know wearing our attire. So you got some names for us, somebody um, that's major that's out here. We got DJ. In. We had DJ RL wear our sweatsuit to the powerhouse. Here, to the powerhouse. Okay. So, that was yeah. like what fifty thousand people. Powerhouse a major thing in the city. Oh yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah, and it, and it shined different because this these Savorsky diamonds, so it mm-hmm. just hit uh-huh. a little bit differently. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A little shine differently. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 we got. You know it's almost LS. like a, yeah. it's a yeah. VS quality it's diamond. A VS, yeah, okay. it might not be VS seven. It's a VS quality Ooh. diamond when it hit the light. Yeah. It shine a certain way. So I gotta know about some diamonds. Yeah, for sure. And we got um these pointers. We got a guy named Sharon. 
that was on too hot to handle. He he just did a photo shoot for us. Okay. So yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Is that like a a, a, a proud moment? I remember having an event at Al Nerson. Mm-hmm. Came through. I'm like, oh, I, that's Al Nerson. That's major. You had a so, proud moment yet? Like seeing somebody in your stuff. Just and, just seeing regular consumers. Okay. In our stuff is a okay. proud moment for us. Yeah. Okay. Like running running into the the homeless guy right, on the right. street. Right. That shit did the most for me. That right. did a lot for me. Mm-hmm. Like just seeing that. Like seeing that it got that far. Or seeing that somebody put that pressure on him and he felt the need to wear it. Right. And let people know, like, this is what I'm going through. I'm going through pressure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? With that spade on mm-hmm. his back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit means something yeah, to me. So when I seen different. it, I run into it. Like, come on, bro. And then when I post it or I put a media po- picture of it, mm-hmm. now other people reposting it. And they see the man out there. He went and viral. they showing him love. He went viral? Yeah. yeah. That's, part people, of, that's part of people elite. tagging me. He was in a different yeah. location. I think he yeah. was under the bridge. So right. anytime he moves somewhere, like they spot the pressure, yeah, just, and yeah. they showed him love because yeah, they showed him love. Come on, bro, that's a part of the connection and being a part of a bond. Or, or, yeah, we're or, a family. Right. So they showed him love. That's they hit me. Up. I said, make sure you take care of my folks, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, real right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Wow, man, that, that's really a proud moment, though. No, yeah, for really. sure. Yeah, I mean, but we have a proud moment. Mm-hmm. Like, like you said, the powerhouse with DJ RL, which wearing. The spade logo in front of fifty thousand people, bro. That's yeah. major, though. But I think we just we we just scratching the surface. We're yeah, gonna, we gonna definitely get and turn get into up. it. Yeah. So so for all the other young guys that want to be that you know that brand of the month, them people that want to grind, that want to mm. be seen the way y'all being seen, like what would you say? What would you tell them as the keys to making sure your brand become an actual statement? Me personally, city? I would say brand yourself. Mm. I say everybody should be out here branding themselves. Everybody mm. should be tapping in and putting something to the world to leave behind. You know what I'm saying? Like when we go or we, you know what I mean? Once it's far gone, mm-hmm. this brand will still be alive. You'll still see it places. It'll still pop up on clothing. It'll still pop up on billboards. It might help, you know, kids in Africa. You never know. Mm-hmm. So I just want the brand to be, you know, bigger. I want us to truly come together. It's not really about selling clothes, bro. It's not really about changing this into to, to money to me. Right. It's about us coming together for real, for mm-hmm. real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the answer, yeah. Um, another key is consistency. Consistency, yeah, you gotta stay consistent. Definitely, gotta stay consistent yeah, and take the, pride yeah, in your work. Cause it's, it's a, sure. like you said, we in a saturated game. It's right million. I don't want to say millions, but it's a in it's Philly. A lot, yeah. It's a lot of clothing lines. It's a lot of clothing so, brands. When you talk is consistency, when you put out that piece and mm-hmm. that piece may not sell mm-hmm. or it ain't doing what you wanted to do, what happens then? I'm back do in you the, wait till that sells? Back in the lab. I'm you back just, in the lab like Dexter. I'm cooking up. You cook back, cook I'm cooking up, up yeah. bro. You, you, need, yeah. you need a better batch. You gotta have a better and then batch. Hit the block again. Because we want to go out next I'm week. A, the other batch wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It, it wasn't, was something wrong. Yeah, you something wrong. With it out. Yeah. So yeah. I think everything should sell out. Mix the recipe up. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we really step us and we really wear this shit. So yeah. it's really in us. So right. when we put it on, and it mean like it's, it's already certified. So I want the next hot shit too. I want to wear it personally. Do you want to wear it personally? So we want to create it. Do you feel like you need to be out in the mix, going to these clubs, just being noticed in order for your clothing line or your your label or whatever it is to be effective? You think that's a need? I don't think so because we huh? haven't done it thus far. I think networking is key though. Mm. That's a part I'm of networking. networking though. I mean, networking. I'm big that's on a networking. Big, that's a part of networking though. Going out to these yeah. events but and showing your face. It's different. It's it's different. Yeah, yeah, different. We don't right. have to be there to it's, make this shit. Happen. Networking no. events is different from going to the club every yeah. weekend. Facts. Right. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So that's not really something. That's, that's not really those a key component to absolutely making sure your not. brand stands no. out. Absolutely not. So have y'all ever like you know took it to the trunk of the car and just got the I got it in the trunk right now. It's work on that. It's work on every table. He said it's work in the trunk. I got it in the trunk. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was the, the thing that really like put them on with just selling shirts straight out the trunk on the half. Like, listen, we got yeah. this right now and just yeah. and just but grinding from that. In the media world, we dealing with we shipping shit off. Oh yeah, we <laughs> my dog yeah, at the post right office, yeah, yeah, he 20 boxes strong at the post office or more. Yeah. Yeah. Like we sending shit off. So with the media, we can just post so now something. You just reaching everywhere. We just post something. Right. That's what's up, man. You let them know that it's out there. That's good to see. Well, we about to take a break right now. We're gonna get into this meal. We're gonna break bread with y'all. You know, we're glad to have y'all. For sure. I know Shop, homie. We've been I'm in here hungry, working, man. grinding, hungry. Wing, grinding I'm hungry. So y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth. And it's your man Shop. This cooking up two on five. We'll be right back. Yes, sir. It's our favorite part of the show. That's your favorite. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Chef. What you got cooking? You already know. <laughs> 
It's our favorite time of the show where we get into that meal. And today's meal has been prepared by Malika, the meal prep. Princess. What's up, sweetheart? So what you got for us today? Okay, so today I prepared my lamb chops. They are my most requested on my menu. Mm -hmm. They're so served over creamy rice risotto. On the side, I have some Brussels sprouts and cauliflower maple cheese. It's a keto dish, and it's also an alternative to a healthier alternative to mac and cheese. So I can eat this cauliflower mac and cheese and not gain a weight because I'm working on my hips. I it's, could, I could, essentially, right. essentially, I ain't yes. got nothing too much to worry about. No, and say less, baby. So I can't wait to get into this meal. Let the people know where they can follow you at. Can't they want to get these recipes? Can't they want to get you? You know, pick something up from one time. Let them know where to follow you. So I'm on Instagram at Mill Prep Malika, and you can also Google me at MillPrepMalika.com. All right, we about to get into this meal, baby. It's cooking up. Let's go. We back at it. It's your man Shaw. It's your boy Smooth, and we cooking up, right? We just had the Mill Prep Malika, and um, food is amazing. It looks amazing. I want to get started, but as much as I want to get started, I really, really want to talk about some future things. I think this has been a year of the business, um, because of the government. There was some money out there that you no know, people could have had or gained or earned. But in terms of y'all guys, what y'all guys going to do moving forward business wise? Um, we just trying to level up, period. We just want to get into all type of different type of businesses. We're dealing with transporting companies. Mm. We're dealing with opening up more restaurant type establishments and lounges, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like we, we tapped into that before with Spade Lounge on 53rd and Market. I already know. Mm -hmm. So just the vibes be different on how we coming for how we try and move the culture forward and mm -hmm. we, what it is that we try and establish with the, with our people. Mm -hmm. So Also, we got a um, clothing store. Okay. Yeah, about that. Opening up a clothing sure. store? Yeah. Yeah. So I can shoot in there and give I need to go? Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. All your entire, yeah. all your all your entire needs. needs. And if you don't tap into that or you somewhere else or you busy because I know you be flying around doing things. You can hit the Train. website. We got an online okay. store as well. Yeah, online. Thirteen Speed dot co. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's well, gonna look amazing. I know my man. He mentioned the uh, you know the pandemic with the government and all mm -hmm. that. Do y'all feel like the pandemic helped or hurt y'all business? Because I I know for some people, some people made the most money they ever yeah. made in their life. I feel life. like if you was in and for position, some people they lost money. At the, at the time, I feel like if you was in position, you could have capitalized off of it. I feel like you just gotta really staple in on when those type of things are happening or occurring in our city and what, what's happening. With so us. what type but of effects did it have question, on you? It helped our business. Helped your business? Online online sales is booming. Right. You know, people got more money, buy nice things, you know, treat they sell. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. No, they treat they sell to that 13 yeah. speed, yeah, baby. And, and, yeah. and it's like, it's like everybody running around with LLCs. So oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I was able to get your LLC. Oh, we bad. No, we bad. Come on, I'm serious. I got no pandemic, baby. At the end of the day, everybody at name is LLC. I'm like, damn, LLC, yeah. We was around 2017, so we been had our job. LLCs went on sale at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. knew nothing about an LLC. There was a pan, million pan pandemic babies. But well, the back of the name, they had such and such street. Now they got such and such LLC. <laughs> so definitely, <laughs> definitely. But back to capitalizing on them situations. Like I feel like we could have capitalized on it more. You know what I'm saying like we could have really like. Yeah, you could have got, got some money out of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we don't more want y'all so, getting book, so people, don't want people getting understand. money and they spending money with us, that's cool. Yeah. But we could have, you know, with your We don't want y'all getting booked, nah, man. You know, they locking niggas up out here scamming with these uh, PPP yeah, loans scamming. and all that. I, I think the price of everything went up. Being in the field that I'm in, I mean, nothing was normal. Everything. You couldn't even get a polo tee. You couldn't hey, even man. go to, uh, you couldn't, you could not get a polo tee, bro. Bro, I was on. paying extra for polo <laughs> Let tees. Let me tell you this you story, on bro. I was on tees. South Street. Boy had the polo tees in his trunk, bro. I'm like, damn, so how much these Johns? He was like, 40 a pack. I'm like, damn. Yeah, there was yeah. a dub at motherfucking Century 21. Everything dub, right. bro. he was selling them Johns for 40 bones. They don't come like, what, two, three tees, bro? Yo, listen, everything double. I was like, yo, oh, no, nah, y'all drunk. Hold up, can everything I say something? Double. Good. What, what you got to say? The food? Malika Mill Prep. It's one thing. Malika Mill Prep. Listen, you know, sure. it's, it's cooking up, man. We got to treat our guests right. For sure. It's only right we had the best prepared meal for us. You know what I'm no, saying? No, for sure. And we appreciate that. Best for the best. We like that man. for y'all. No, yeah, we you know? like that for y'all a lot. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. So, um, we talked about the clothing line. We talked about other adventures that y'all got going on. Um, as being 
entrepreneurs, what's some of the things that you can reach out and tell future entrepreneurs, like the younger youth um, that's, li- that's listening and watching this? What, what, what type of stories or what could you share with them? Maybe something motivational. What could you, you share know. to the people that's out there that want to so really... I, I feel like we spoke on it a little bit earlier, but more so just trying to make sure that they tapping into quality of work and what they trying to put out, making mm-hmm. sure that they take their time with it. Everything don't need to be rushed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My, like, my advice is never get discouraged. It's always, you know, you're always going to face adversity. Yeah. There's trials and tribulations and everything. You know what I mean? Set so your, it's going to be some hurdles. Right. Set your goal and just keep applying pressure. So goals, that's a big thing. That's and a big thing. Pressure, and big thing. I feel like we in the fourth quarter. We about to close out mm-hmm. 2021. Where are some goals? Some goals. Even then this year or even bringing out 2002 with 2022 with a bang. What's some of them goals? Some of our goals is getting into the household names. You know, your favorite rappers, stuff like that, favorite artists. Um, also, just get, keep applying pressure globally. We just want to tap in and get this this quality product to everybody. You know, yeah. and the how- fact that we just not disclosing this branding. Right. We into all type of different type of businesses. So we want to branch out, reach out to other individuals at Spades mm-hmm. that's making things happen in, in, in our culture. And we want to reach out and we want to tap in with them. And we right. want to create bigger and better things. If you could if you could choose a way to start 2022 off, what would be something major that y'all want to accomplish? What would be that 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 milestone that you really want to reach? Is there certain person that you want to have wearing your brand? Is there a certain number of sales you need to make? You know what I'm saying? Do you need to see a certain amount in your bank account for 2022? Mm. Me? You know? No. All it's about that, that time when we start setting those, you know. Those type of that, goals, yeah. Right. All right, so all that included for sure. But mainly, we just want to touch the people. We want our people, we want our members to really tap in and get involved in what we're trying to do as a people, as a whole. Mm-hmm. Once that expand, we all expand. You don't got that one vision, that one thing like, yo, this year I need I need X Y Z to throw it on. No, I need Meek to come through with the pressure no, head not on his head. Not necessarily. You know, we don't like that. that. That's not I really. I feel like all that type of stuff is good. It's going to come. It's going to come, bro. That's what I said. We not. That's not my poor focus. That's ain't yeah. his poor focus. That ain't how we just like how we got moving. Okay. No, no, we ain't moving. That's like it. That. What about um being able to network and. Like you said, do a collab with somebody. Is it someone out there that's what we want to do. that you want to really collab with? I mean, there's a we bunch already of... collab with people that we definitely respect and fuck with for sure. But, but who would be those people that you would the like idea to one that be like, yo, right. if we do this collab, this is gonna make really it. turn. This is gonna be a successful twenty twenty two. Who would be that ideal person? That one, I, whoever it is. I mean, you know, we got throw a name Lilo. out there. Yeah. Throw a name out we there. Got a for Easy. Easy. <laughs> oh, that one. We gonna oh, be on Nah, but we would, we would, we would we we open, we open this collab with anybody. We yeah. would love to be, collab with Benny Perot. Mm-hmm. We would love to collab with um um. I like King Saladin. I want to really collab with King Saladin because I appreciate his art. The artist, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. He a dope okay. individual. For those who don't know. Yeah. yeah, he's from West Ray and all that. So, you can yeah. DM him. He's going to get right back to you. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a lot of... I, I, I wouldn't mind tapping in with all fully artists. Yeah. Really, okay. you know what I mean? They're just trying to make shit happen. Especially that's on like a... I feel like that's something y'all should do. I feel like that should be something that that could be our 2022 goal. Is oh, just yeah. making sure that you really try to goal. tap oh, in yeah, with everybody sure. and just at least get a piece. No, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That would be <laughs> something dope to man. Or just a doing events together. Each you can person do pop and stuff like that. Together. Yeah, I'm, 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 I, I think shops. I think that's like really important that we we really reach out and start doing the pop up shops. So I'm gonna pitch y'all on the hook right now. If you could do a pop up shop with um, including yourself, three different brands. In, in the city of Philadelphia, what three would you like to have there? Benani Peru, Miliano, pick one. Um, you damn, he just take two. You just, just pick one. You can no, you have pick one. Two. Second. You can pick two. <laughs> no, I'm right. Well, we, already, we already got a collab no, with him out. So, yeah, we're so, we got, so yeah, let's, we let's, what else? Um, what's your favorite brand? Who y'all like? Sorry, fully. Um, you know, I, I honestly speaking, I get a lot of people throwing me they. I know, but who who court, who court you? Give me your eye, because I know you like different. So, um, uh, of course, I'm gonna say Mabel Marie. Uh, I like that. Uh, well, I like Marie. I, I like Mabel honestly Marie. speaking. I like, uh, of course, everybody like Lionel and what right. she do. You know what? what? She brings to the table. I want to do a collab with the with the with the with the young op- entrepreneur Spark Spurgo, right? Spurgo, yeah. Okay. He was oh, just hey, on Shark you. Tank. He got making you. moves. So yeah, got you. Yeah, you got, got you. And I don't feel like he did no collabs. That got you. That'd be a good joint. 
There you go. And I, I fuck with his brand. Like I fuck with it with the with meaning the whole behind movement. it. Yeah, yeah, the whole movement behind it. The kind of like I, similarities. And he a young hustler. He's fifteen yeah, years old. Young. Yeah. Taking it <laughs> yeah. Up. yeah, I was just watching the reel. We talked about the reels. I was just watching the reel. So I was for him. Yeah, uh-huh. that's 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 major what he's doing. But my other two, I is a is a guy, his name my man, his designs is kinda old. I would like to see somebody probably reach out to him because his mind is crazy. Like I've spoken, I talked to him about different things. Where he at mentally is crazy. But um talk with Barcelona. I think that's a nice that's dope a good little too. line too. So those Shout are my talk. ones. Okay. Yeah, no, I, um, I feel like Talk definitely got something with the Barcelona. I like the name of it. Yeah, it's the name. Like it's he the could name be doing he could be he doing could do. so much with it, it's ridiculous. It, so I yeah. hope to see him like truly turn it in. Hey, talk, tap in. Definitely got that. Mm-hmm. Definitely got that. <laughs> yeah. He got he got uh, that line. So what else though? Whatever. I mean, if you, I know we talked about being able to venture out and as far as with the clothing line, um, reach other clothing brands. But what about the, the the towing company or the the transporting company? Um, there's a lot of young yeah, we got our guys hands in the city we, doing we that We put our hands in whatever is possible that we could do that fits our brand and our structure and what, how we trying to move forward. So our main focus is trying to. Just get our youth involved and get our get our people moving forward mm-hmm. independently, though. Like mainly, you know what I'm saying? Like being in a position where I could just call my brother and he in position. He could put me in position. He can make something happen. You know what I mean, and vice right. versa. So right. that's just where we at with it. So we we tapping into every little thing down to transporting, mm-hmm. down to lounges, lounges, to restaurants, store, restaurants, all that, okay. everything. Okay, I like that. We don't put our hands in that. For sure, cause um, we gotta we gotta be able to provide for our people. Can right. I get a shout out? Can I, I give a shout out? Yeah, for sure, bro. Talk um, to the people. It's, my a, it's a new club. It's called Low Key. Low Key, shout yeah, out. Yeah, so Key. I want to shout out to my guys at the Low vibes. Key. You know what I'm saying they family. Go check it out. They definitely create the vibes. So that's Low what key, they, that's, I got. So I got to pop up and, and make a and make an appearance. Yeah, I don't man. go everywhere. No, no. Low Key. Y'all want to see me in Low Key? Low Key got Low Key for a reason. Listen, <laughs> Low Key, Low reach key. out to me. Y'all want me to host? Look, look, shot. look, reach out to me. Say no more. He's done. With the wink. Right? <laughs> <It's done. laughs> you know what I mean? We're right, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, moving forward, what could we do in terms of um, being able to bring our community together? I feel like it's our, our community is really destroyed in so many different ways because of the violence. Right. What could we do to make sure that we're making sure we're making an impact in the community? Um, right. In terms of being able to be supportive with the youth, what, what could we do, though? So, the to me, personally, the amazing part about the clothing and stuff like that is mm-hmm. the fact that the connection. Brings so people might, together. Yeah, it brings us all together. So I might see something, with somebody out, I automatically got a connection to it because I mm-hmm. notice, I identify, I identify with it, I identify with the brand. Mm-hmm. So that's like a, a key component to me in the fact of us spreading and becoming unison with each other. Right, mm-hmm. just show them different. It's different ways. Yeah. you ain't got to be out here hustling, killing people, no. robbing people. It's, it's other ways to get money. Yeah, I definitely. It's a like, lot of better ways. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's, it's part of you know everybody. You know how they always say like the hustlers back in the day. You owed it to the youth, right? To show them the way. You know to kind of keep them on the right path. You mm-hmm. know, of course, you know shit changed where you don't got those type of thorough guys as you once mm-hmm. had back in the day. Where to move these niggas out here is just crazy you now. It's all <laughs> everybody for themselves. But back then, you used to have people that would try to instill good morals in the young kids. You know what I mean? You still make sure young boys go to class. Right. right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right, I feel right. like our entrepreneurs got to take that take that role and take that lead where no, though no, we got to pull the young kids in like, I'm going to show lead you the how you do this. Right. So do y'all ever see ourselves taking on that role and like bringing kids in to try to, you know, put them under y'all wings? Well, listen, once we get help the, them see that role. Once, yeah. once we get the story, we definitely going to be mentored. We definitely going to be giving classes and giving out jobs. But on a personal level, we still do that on a, on a regular day basis. Right. Just inspiring the youth. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the key. That's questions. the goal. That's, that's Even with your little do. cousins and all that. Like, I feel like it's important to instill these things into your family and see the people that's coming up behind you. Gotta, you got to at least Because a lot of them, they be just running around. They don't know what's really going on. They don't Until know what they, that is. They grabbing it, touching it. You're like, yo, put that down. That's right. what's... You know I mean? Until they see they folks. Yeah, so, so. until they see your people. And, and, I mean, I just think the story has changed, man. When I was a kid, I don't know about y'all, but I looked up to the drug dealer who had all the money, he was doing everything. No, we facts. thought that the value in him was, or he's the man we want to be. Right. But now when you look up and you see them business owners and you and see them really being able paper. to have that car <laughs> right. and they got that newest watch, I think that's more important. So being that example to them, 
um, mm -hmm. is really a good thing. And y'all guys definitely doing a good thing in our communities. I mean, I just want y'all to continue to build on that. So appreciate, appreciate that, King. Yeah, sure, man. So sure. we appreciate y'all coming through. You know, definitely want y'all to stand on it. Like you said, y'all stay in the community. That's the reason why we highlighting y'all right now. Mm -hmm. You know, cooking up brand in the month. Yeah, stay at it, baby. Keep 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 pushing that hustling. that spade brand that spade message. You know, we're gonna keep applying pressure. Yeah, well, we you, appreciate y'all having us. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And, and and that hard work it never goes unnoticed. Um, never. Unfortunately, there's always somebody out there looking at your stuff, looking at your stories, and, and it's gonna help you. It's right. gonna help you. It's gonna help you continue to build. Exactly. So. Right. Let the people know how they can keep up with y'all, how they can get, you know, their hands on some spade hoodies, okay. some pressure hats, all that. All right. Good well, for the attire, you can go to 13spade.co. Um, my personal Instagram is Jeezy Tapia. The brand Instagram is 13spade. And then Spade TV. Y'all can find me on Spade TV all, all day. On any, 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 on any platform. Any, any platform. platform. Yeah. Any right. platform. Yeah. Well, this your boy Smooth. And this your man Shy. This is Cooking Up 2 and 5. We, we are, are we having it.